We'll begin here with Jay Anderson. Jay, your line is now live. Hey, uh, thanks very much. And, uh, you know, Ty, after your last fight, you said you wanted to get back in ASAP and you were kind of willing to work your way up the ladder. It seems you got everything you wished for, a quick turnaround, an undefeated prospect. How happy are you with this matchup? Oh, man, I'm stoked to be back. Um, you know, I I couldn't have asked for a quicker turnaround. You know, like I was fortunate that I put on a show and they asked me to come back right away. And you know, I, I got what I asked for. So, and, you know, regardless of how well I performed and how I felt like after the fight and being that I asked for it, I wasn't about to turn it down. Good stuff. And, you know, Dalton's obviously uh, a pretty impressive physical specimen and he's been fighting at 205 until recently. Uh, give us your thoughts on the matchup and have you done you know anything special to prepare for this? Um, no, I, as far as like preparing for this fight, I didn't change anything. I, I'm a strong believer in as long as I lead the dance, it's going to be my fight. You know, I, he's going to have to try to imply his game plan against me. As long as I keep doing what I'm doing, I don't see this fight really going wrong. Um, he is definitely probably the strongest and the most explosive and athletic guy I'm probably, that's been in front of me. But as far as that, I, I think even him coming down to 85, that he's he definitely shows that that weight cut really makes a little bit of a difference because he gets tired quick and i think i'll use that to my advantage connor hey ty how you doing good how you doing good good thanks for asking uh obviously Dalton's you know he's he's a big wrestler from those last three fights we we, we saw that and in your loss to joseph career uh career kind of kept shooting in for that takedown rounds two and three what improvements have you made in your takedown defense and grappling game since then uh, since the career fight, well, I was at CSA uh, preparing for that fight. So uh, I think the big difference was that that is a striking gym. And um, I didn't have too many big bodies to work with. And everyone likes to strike there. So it, it did play against me just a little going into that fight. But it was also my fault that I got comfortable striking, thinking that he was just going to strike with me. Um, now that I'm back at Extreme Couture in Las Vegas, uh, and it's a wrestling-based gym, everyone can wrestle that's my size or bigger. Uh, I've been able to work with guys that are constantly shooting on me round to round. And I got a good mixture of guys that are high level wrestlers. That's got collegiate wrestling uh, experience. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And I, I saw you post on Instagram too. It was kind of like a then and now photo and you obviously slimmed down a lot too. And it looks like you put on some muscle as well. So like, how much do you feel like you've changed since that career fight to, to now? Uh, I think my mindset going into this fight and back then is night and day. Uh, I've, it, that loss kind of, it hurt, man. It stung for months. Uh, and it kind of told, I told myself, I refuse to ever let myself look that way again, like physically, mentally, or even in a fight. Like I, I honestly believe I looked completely terrible. Um, I've been in sports my whole life and I've never performed that bad. And it maybe wasn't that bad to some people that watched the fight, but to me, I felt I felt like I was a disgrace to myself. And going into this fight now, I I pushed myself as much as I possibly could, and I just refused to go back to that. Steve, I thank you for the time today. I know you said that the cut is a hard one for Dalton Rasta to make, but it's hard to see the evidence of that because he's got three TKO finishes and three Bellator fights. So how do you plan to draw him out into the deep water? Um, you know, honestly, I don't even, I'm not even looking to take him out into deep waters. I want to beat him when he's really good. Like to me, I want to beat guys when they're at the peak of their performance and not when they're starting to drown in that 15 minutes, you know, um, I think that's where you can show how good of a fighter you are. And he has a lot of muscle. The dude's probably more muscular than I am. He's, and obviously he's fought at 205. So now him being able to uh, cut down to 85 and still carry all that muscle, that's, that, plays, that plays a big role. Um, part of the reason why I don't put on as much muscle as I, I could is because I want to still be the fast guy at this, this division. I want people to play to my tempo and my pace. And a lot of guys that I train with, have a hard time with it and I'm it's going to start to show eventually. Thank you. Donna. 
Uh, Ty, how's it going? Uh, you've obviously fought in this, uh, in the Bellator bubble in the the in Connecticut for uh, the the fight. Your your last one. Do you think that it, it benefits or, or hurts your preparations, the whole quarantining and being in your room and not being able to interact with everybody? Is it a, a good thing or a bad thing? Uh, for me, I think it's a good thing. I, I don't really do much fight week. Like I, I, I have that football mindset when uh, mm -hmm. two days or the day before the, the game, I stay off my feet for a day or two and I don't do anything. Um, so as far as quarantining, like it works in my favor. I get to rest my body and recover as much as I can in these couple of days leading up to the fight. Uh, just because even then I, I like to get my last hard day, literally exactly seven days from the, uh, from the fight. So I can use as much recovery as I possibly could leading up. And I, there's no way that seven days is going to make a big impact on my performance come fight night. Where does a win on, uh, on Thursday night land you in the division? Uh, well, being that I started with Bellator on a loss, that put me at 0-1. I'm 1-1 now. Putting me at 2-1, uh, I think that gives me just a little pull enough to where I can start making some noise. I'm not expecting a lot after this fight. I, like a 2-1 record. If I win this fight, I become 2-1. I, I still feel like I don't, I've earned my stripes. But if I can put on another show and show that I can uh, make it exciting. I think going forward, um, I can start really asking for fights when I want it. And, you know, we'll see. We have time for one or two more. Luis, go ahead. Hi. How do you see Bellator Middleweight Division? And where do you feel in the division winning this fight? Uh, winning this fight being that I think they said something about Dalton being the number 10 ranked middleweight, and he's 3-0. Uh, I think beating him, that puts me right around there. And moving forward, there is a lot of guys that's been here for a while. So um, moving forward, I think we'll, we'll see me fighting guys with a higher record and, you know, that's been here uh, making some noise. Lenny? Hi, Ty. Just the one from me. How, how's it going? Good, good. How you doing? Yeah, I'm good. Thank you. So you've got six fights in your pro MMA career, and but all your wins, they're all by KO. Does that uh, continue this weekend? Uh, I, I hope so. You know, if I do get a decision win, I'm going to be very upset. Uh, I don't, I don't want to be in there for 15 minutes, not because I don't trust my cardio. It's because I want to, I want to be a show fighter. I want to show guys I, I'm going to fight at my, um, impose my will on people and, and beat them quickly. 